welcome back to my channel today I am going to be creating a goals tag this is based on um, YouTube um, personality scrap happy she created a big tag of craft goals um, for check-in to measure what she has completed each month of the year for 2021 I thought this was awesome it brought me back to when I used to keep my happy planner um, goals. And I had totally forgot since, you know, life for me has changed. So I went and um, found my little happy planner um, suitcase and my journals that I had, my little planners that I had. And I decided, you know, wow, this is something I could do not on this grand level anymore, but on a smaller level for me because of where I'm at right now in life. And it reminded me of how much I enjoyed keeping a planner. I used to be a planner girl, all kinds of planner stickers, everything you could think of for a planner. This right here is an example of one of the pages that I kept. I was very, very physically active. I always would log my activities for that given day, for that month. I even, this came from back in 2018, I do believe. Yeah, May of 2018, this was a wellness, um, article that my then employer had focused on on me for the wellness news section of that month's um newsletter and i was it kept me accountable it kept me responsible for me it helped me to become a better person so i said you know, as and I wrote on her um in her comment section, I needed to create one for crafting. So today's video will be based on creating a craft goals tag similar to what Scrap Happy did in her YouTube video. If you haven't checked out her channel, please check it out. Her channel name is Scrap Happy. The video name is Big Tag of Craft Goals Check-In. She's checking in since we're halfway through the year. She's checking in on her goals. She also uses a traveler's notebook to make documentation. She reminded me of when I first got into crafting about a year ago, how or how um having a notebook or something to keep a record of things that you may create or videos you may see that you may want to try to recreate those items later. And it brought all of that back for me uh, because I had forgotten that I had started doing something similar to um, what Scrap Happy was doing as well. So give me a second. I'm going to get everything set up. And then when I come back, I'll be ready to start on my tag. And again, her name, her YouTube name is Scrap Happy. And the video name is Big Tag of Craft Goals Check-In. Please go over, show her some love, and subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. Thank you, and I'll be right back. Okay. My goal in creating this project is to keep it simple, not something that's going to be extravagant this is something a tag that i will make to place on my desk in front of me so that every day that i log in or i sit here at my desk when i'm up to it i can remember to keep myself accountable of what i say i'm gonna do for that given month all goals as i've known for many years are not attainable whether short term or long term but you just do what you can and you go forward so having said all of that let's get started okay I'm back let's get started on the tag I have two sheets of cardstock and instead of making it just white I wanted to add pink to it because we all know that pink is of course my favorite color so, I'm going to get my glue stick. 
so I can stick this down. And I'm sorry if I'm jarring the camera. And I know I'm not going to need all of this paper, so um, I'm just going to put this on there widespread just to get good coverage. I hope everyone is doing great today. Today has just started for me. Um, I'm actually up pretty early at 6.30 in the morning, my time here in the U.S. on the Eastern Coast. And um, I don't know, I just woke up early this morning. I, I could not sleep um, any longer. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this video done and make it happen um, versus just laying there in the bed doing nothing. So, using my bone folder to just spread everything glue out and to get it good stuck. And like I said, it's no real... Um, rhyme or reason to how this tag will be created like i said check out her video and you will see the tag that she created and um it's just something to, again to keep you accountable for the for six months or for the year looking at her tag it looks like she may have done hers her check-in for every, for every month up to the sixth month, um, which would have been June, if I'm um, remembering correctly. So, just like with your planners, you can set this tag up if you decide to do one any way you want to. It's no right or wrong answer um, as to how you create it. I just wanted something that was good and sturdy and that would hold up. But at the same time, something that's, you know, was bright enough that would stand out right in my face. Something um, that I wouldn't easily forget that, hey, April, you need to be monitoring your goals for the month, you know, to check your um, progress. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. All right, so we see that now it's good and stuck. It's nice and sturdy. A little bit of glue on there. I just now need to decide how big I want my tag to be. So that's, you know, the point to where I'm at now. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I do believe, just bear with me, because there's no written set of instructions <laughs> as to how to do this, because I'm just creating this on a whim. Sometimes that's the best way I find to do something. Sometimes that's how the best plans come together. Let me get my straight edge and cut this. And I'm going to save that little piece of paper because I may be able to use it in another um, crafting project. I have my We Are Memory Keepers um, angle punch. It's an angle and photo punch. I think I'm gonna do this tag at an angle. I'm just gonna stick that down in there, like so. Come down here, make it a little bit fancy. <laughs> As we see the corners on there, but now cut out. There we go. All right, just bear with me a second. Oh, I'm sorry if I bumped the camera. This is one of my little storage containers. This one has my letters and number stickers in there. I have the overabundance, and that's one of my goals is to start using the things that I have because I'm finding that I'm buying way too much, you know, new stuff or products that 
other crafters have already done. I believe I'm a firm believer in supporting small businesses and helping others, but at the same time, when you start getting so much stuff that you want, you don't know that you have it, or you just just have too much, you just don't have anywhere else to put it, then it's time to really step back and reevaluate everything you got in your stash. And at this point in life, I, I'm getting to have too much. I'm getting crowded out that I, I don't have space hardly anymore to craft. So I know that it's time to, you know, pump the brakes, slow down a little bit on my purchases. So one of my goals, I think, is going to be starting August of 2021, which is next month and a few more weeks, is to stop purchasing so much stuff online. Um, it's not out of malice or anything like that. It's just that I have so much stuff. And guys, I literally mean I have ran out of room. I have run out of room to even put my stuff. So I really need to start using my um, crafting materials that I am purchasing monthly. And that's what my goals are to do. So that will definitely be one of the goals that I put on my tag here is to, you know, get myself in check on my spending because I'm spending mm, way too much. I think that's going to blend too much. So let's try another color on there. I want to write out the word goals. That's why I pulled these out. Let's try something a little bit darker. Yeah, that's better. And let me line my paper up because I want this to be as neat as possible. I don't want no mess, of course. And what I'm going to do, I may have to reposition, hopefully I'm in frame, my letter G. Yeah, I am. And that's okay. I'm just going to put a light pencil mark. And I'm using a pencil. That way I can easily erase my lines out. But I want to try to make this, you know, neat as possible. And I may create a binder or um, something to place this in. Maybe a folder after the month is done or that time frame is up. However long I decide to go with this. But we'll see, because I want to be able to keep it, because when I was using my Happy Planner, that was one of the good things about it, was being able to go back and reflect to see, you know, what all I accomplished, what was not accomplished, how could I improve. And I want to be able to do that um, with this tag system, too. So, let me get these stuck down, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have created what my outline, this is just my outline as to what the goals, my goals tag will look like. I just want to make sure you guys can get a good view of it. And what I pretty much did was I just put my stickers on there. And of course you don't have to use stickers. You can use, you can handwrite it or cut up newspaper. Or use stickers that you have that have numbers on it. Just get as creative as you please with it. Uh, make it as fancy as you want or non-fancy. It's totally up to the individual. What I'm gonna do is go back off camera because all I'm gonna do is write down some of the things that I want to accomplish between August and December of this year. And I will come back on so you can see what my goals are. My top three goals for the rest of this year is in steps that I will take to complete those goals. And I'll read each one of them to you because they're all gonna be craft related. So there's nothing, you know, too personal that I don't mind sharing. So um, just bear with me and I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have completed my version of the goals tag. And I, I kind of sort of like it. I think it's kind of busy. So if I had it to do over again, which um, come de November, December, I'll rethink how I'll do this. But 
for now it's, it's perfect for what I need I mean you could even use a planner notebook if you wanted to you don't necessarily have to do a tag but I like the concept of a tag because it's not big and bulky like a planner can be and like I said I can put this on my desk where it'll be sitting in front of me um, so that I can keep focus and remind myself daily of the goals that I am trying to complete between August 1 to December for the most part um, for most of these goals my first goal is to start a four month no craft and spin from August to November the only exception will be $30 monthly for swaps and challenges and I know just from the few swaps and challenges that I have been in, nowhere near have I spent $30, but I am allowing myself at least $30 if it came to that point. Because again, I'm trying to use things that I already have because I have an overabundance of crafting material along with sewing uh, material as far as fabrics. So... I really don't need to be purchasing anything, but just in case it's a challenge or a swap that I may have to pick up an item or two, I will at least budget out $30 for the month, each month to do that. If I don't use it, then hey, that's all good. So um, I will allow myself a little lead way there for $30 monthly for swaps and challenges. As I meet each goal, what I did was I put um, the months up here. And as I meet each goal, I'll put a check mark in each box to show that, yes, for the month of August, either I didn't spend anything or it was not over $30. So I'll do that for August, September, October, and November. I have done this before, so I know it's doable. Sometimes things are mind over matter, so I think I'll be able to accomplish that. My second goal is to complete and share at least three paper projects monthly. Must use items from my stash. I can do this by video, happy mail, or challenges. So that's not hard to do because I have found that it's little things, especially when you're beginning out as a crafter that you may a person may not have that you they could use. Because I know like for me, I've not been crafting that long. And initially, I was watching videos, and every time they would say, well, you need this, you need that, of course, April went out and bought this and that and third. And in reality, a lot of times, a ruler, a bone folder is all you need with some, a good pair of scissors. So, long short of it, again, <laughs> and I can't express this enough, I have an overabundance of crafting stuff that I need to use and get rid of and that's what the goal is okay my third and final goal is to continue to take steps to work towards learning mixed media concepts via YouTube challenges and instructor led monthly and I have allotted myself no more than $45 monthly and again I know it should not cost that much per month, especially with all the YouTube videos that are out there. But there are some concepts that I have learned just by watching YouTube videos, as Finnabar said in her video, and Finnabar instructor Anna said in her video, you always want to have a good instructor-based learning when it comes to learning concepts. You want to go to somebody that's reputable and that knows what they're talking about. Because again, like me, I'm a beginner and some things that I purchase, they're just sitting here going to waste. I don't need them, you know, in the paper craft and stuff that I'm doing for us right now. But I want to be able to expand upon that and and grow um, because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. It's keeping me busy. It's helping to keep my mind active. So I want to be able to move forward and not just be sitting in the same circle or same rut 
Because if you do what you always done, you get what you always got. And that was a quote that an um, instructor had taught us many years ago, over 20 some years ago, and that has always stuck with me. I want to be able to further my knowledge and my skill set in what I'm doing as far as crafting because I really enjoy this and it's my outlet as far as right now. So again, no more than $45 monthly on learning mixed media concepts because again, right now I'm pretty good at paper crafting but I wanna build upon that and see where else it may lead me. So again, this here, this goals tag is my version of what Scrap Happy did on her YouTube channel, and her YouTube channel is called Scrap a Happy. The video that uh, she used to place this tag under is called Big Tag of Craft Goals Check-In. So again, give her a shout out and go to her t YouTube channel and subscribe and Ring the bell for notifications if you haven't already. Again, her name is Scrap A Happy, S C R A P E A H A P P Y. That's her YouTube name, and the video name is Big Tag of Craft Goals Check In. I really enjoyed watching her video. And I thought that was very creative. I'm not sure. I think she said that she did get this idea either off of Pinterest or from someone else on YouTube. But again, I thought this was a good way to be able to check in with myself monthly on what am I doing? How am I getting to point A to point B? And am I reaching my goals? So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And I hope and I pray that your day is going great. Have a blessed day and thank you for watching.